Hi there, it's Kathy Cates and Melissa Hines from the Institute for Pelvic Health. And you're watching Demystifying the Pelvic Floor, weekly videos providing real and simplified pelvic floor education for real clinical situations. We've got you covered. And today we'll be talking about pudendal neuralgia and why you should consider the pelvic floor muscles. What is the pudendal nerve and what is pudendal neuralgia? So the pudendal nerve, as you can see from this photo, runs on bilateral sides of the pelvic floor muscle and innervates the clitoris, perineum, labia, and anal sphincter. The pudendal nerve can become compressed, irritated, inflamed, which can lead to neuralgia of that nerve. Um, it's a subset of vulvodynia and it can cause pain in the nerve distribution. Patients will present with one-sided burning, itching, tingling with penetrative sex or the feeling of having something inside of the perineum or rectum or that feeling of fullness. Um, the symptoms get worse when bowels are full. Symptoms will often increase during a bowel movement as the pudendal nerve stretches. Um, burning may continue post bowel movement and can last for several minutes to hours. Um, the same goes for any sort of penetrative sex or just stimulation. It can also present um, after orgasm or during orgasm, but that's kind of the hallmark sign of if someone has an orgasm and the symptoms come up, you know, a couple minutes after. Another big thing is symptoms that get worse with long car rides, sitting or cycling because of the pressure on the pudendal nerve. So spinning, cycling are all, that's can definitely a risk factor for pudendal neuralgia. Some other ones include vaginal birth, episiotomy, any kind of trauma to the coccyx, even a fall on the tailbone, uh, pelvic surgeries, herniated discs, Arlov cysts, and hypertonic pelvic floor muscles. So anything that's going to be putting pressure on the spine and the sacral nerve roots. Mm -hmm. And through palpating the obturator internus muscle, you can stimulate the pudendal nerve. And if it reproduces a patient's symptoms or creates a zinging um, and a referral into the um, distribution of the nerve, then that's considered what we call a positive Tunnell sign um, or a neuropathic irritation that could be causing some of the patient's symptoms. So there are Tunnell signs within the pelvic floor, just like we're so used to thinking about it, like with the wrist and when we check for carpal tunnel, but there's also a Tunnell sign for the pelvic floor muscles. So treatments of pudendal neuralgia, your bimanual exam by identifying that zing is the first and crucial step, you can refer those patients to pelvic floor therapy, diaphragmatic breathing to get the whole pelvic floor muscles to relax. Um, think about activity modification, seat cushions with a cutout can often make a very, very big difference. Um, if more conservative measures aren't working, you can think about uh, pudendal nerve blocks, even Botox injections right into the pelvic floor muscles, specifically the levator ani muscles. Um, and there's mixed evidence, but sometimes worth trying oral medications, pregabalin, gabapentin, tricyclic antidepressants, and SNRI. But again, always best to think about the conservative measures first, and that's why our bimanual exam is so important. Mm -hmm. And that's a wrap. Did you like this video? If so, hit like and subscribe. Please share with your colleagues and comment below to let us know your biggest challenges in providing care for patients that have potentially pudendal neuralgia. And subscribe to our email list at instituteforpelvichealth.com to get your free guide for tips for managing your challenging pelvic exam. And you'll get access to our weekly pelvic health content. And be sure to find us on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn, where we'll post more pelvic health tips. We're super excited to announce that we're developing an online pelvic floor course for nurse practitioners. Our course will break down the pelvic floor so that you can confidently care for your patients with pelvic floor dysfunction. By simplifying the pelvic floor, we'll improve patient outcomes and your provider experience. Thanks for watching and spreading the word. Let's revolutionize pelvic health. We'll see you soon.